Hey hey! And welcome to my YouTube uh, uh, channel or video if you're watching my video. So, um, I'm going to design or I mean model a knife in Maya and I'm going to print it out. So, uh, stay tuned, I guess. Uh, also, <clears throat> yes, also, also, yes. Um, I did have some foot footage. Ooh, fo ooh. I did have some footage of me modeling the knife, but unfortunately, uh, half of the footage um, is missing. So, unfortunately, I, d I don't want to show you half of the modeling, so I'm not going to take with the the footage in this video so sorry guys also uh, I thought I was recording when I was putting the model in in uh, Kara but apparently I wasn't recording so no footage of uh, uh, that either so I'm really <laughs> I'm really sorry but yeah The print is now done. Um, I just wanted to show this before I cleaned the print because unfortunately I had some problems with warping this time. So you can see it's slightly bent. Uh, so it didn't turn out uh, as expected or as it should. Uh, do well. Uh, at, I'll tell you this. It's amazing. This grip fits my hand per perfectly. Like, holy shit! It's good to hold in this uh, knife. So uh, this side of the handle is this design turned out uh, amazing. So. The blade is a bit thin though, so it bends like very easily and probably gonna break very soon. Um, so I might do this, do a new, uh, make a new design or a new version. Well, I, I, I can just clean this up. And okay, <laughs> so I cleaned it up. Uh, actually, it didn't take a uh, really long time at all. Uh, support peeled off. Uh, really fast and easy this time. It has done that a lot of times, but uh, this was super fast and really, really little cleaning up to do at all. Mm. Well, <laughs> as you see, it's still bent, so uh, the print itself also got uh, affected by that. Uh, crap. It's a bit crap that I printed this black pillow uh, because it doesn't really look so good in the camera. <laughs> anyway, well yeah, it 
it, it fits my hand perfectly. Um, I probably should have dropped uh, this and thing and you see because of the warping this also got a bit bent uh, or out of line first I have, uh, thought my printer stepped some uh, skipped some steps but uh, it looks good kind of I will I will uh, probably upload uh, this model on Thingiverse and you can download it anyway if you want to uh, but uh, I'm probably going to have to make a new one later on uh, design a new one and uh, well let's see if we could it's, it's a bit dull it is more like uh, uh, what is it called cosplay knife like or costume party thing knife or if you would to uh, where to print this in PLA no TPE I think it's called well yeah you could probably use this as a rubber training knife as well I think this blade would probably be a bit too thin maybe I don't know I don't have TPA and my printer is not really capable of printing it uh, at this moment but anyway let's see if it can cut some paper I guess it's a bit boring to cut but I don't I actually don't think it can but oh well that was pretty easy um, oh let's test I made this like a belt cutter almost uh, I don't know what I was thinking but I thought maybe maybe it was cool yo anyway let's see it's it's that one is useless like for real Ooh. yeah <coughs> pretty useless uh, at this point Maybe I have to file it down so it gets sharp inside. Hmm. Anyway, is it possible to stab uh, through this paper? Do you think? Maybe? Oh, that was pretty easy. And ah, that's why I made that shit so you can inflict more damage, I guess. <laughs> well. There you have it, the um, kind of crappy but also kind of nice knife, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah it looks a bit strange but it's modeled to fit my hand, like perfectly, so of course it looks a bit weird. I'm weird. Then the knife gets a bit weird. Well, it's, it's not that bad I think, but anyway. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, hopefully <laughs> you will... Maybe you will subscribe so you can watch more of this crap. I mean, great videos, of course. Yay. Bye.